Hello and welcome to For the Love of Cooking. On this channel, I'm going to share with you my passion for cooking and baking and show you that anyone can do it. On today's episode, I'm going to prepare stuffed peppers, which is a very colorful and delicious dish and is my family's all-time favorite. To make this dish, you will need peppers, mince, a mixture of beef and pork mince, some herbs, some onions, some tomatoes, either tinned, chopped tinned tomatoes or just fresh tomatoes that you chop yourself, some rice, salt and pepper and some stock for cooking the dish in. We'll start with preparing the peppers. Take the tops off and discard all the seeds inside. I would recommend you to use a wide saute pan to cook this dish because it works best if you only have one layer of the peppers in the pan. And let's prepare the stuffing. It's a mixture of beef and pork mince, half and half, just under a pound each and we will add the chopped onion. It may look like an awful lot of onion but it isn't. Also the tomatoes. You won't need a lot of cooking liquid because the onion and the tomatoes have a lot of moisture and now we need to chop all these herbs as finely as you can. And now add the rice. One cup of uncooked rice. That's it. A teaspoon of salt unless you like very salty dishes. A couple of spoons of paprika, sweet paprika, and pepper. I like to use a rainbow pepper mill, uh, which is a mixture of pink, green, black, and white pepper. And when I run out of those, I just use black pepper. Also, when I cook with tomatoes or tomato paste, I always add a little bit of sugar to balance the acidity. And we'll begin stuffing them. Just a tablespoon. Just pack. To cook this dish, I've prepared about half a liter of vegetable stock. It could be any stock. In this occasion, I used liquid stock. But you don't need, like I said, you won't need much, half a liter at most, because all the ingredients of this dish will give a lot of moisture whilst cooking. All we need to do now is to pour the stock into the pan, close it tight, and bring it to boil on a high heat and then as it starts to boil turn it down and cook for about 45 minutes. 45 minutes later the peppers are ready and I'm serving them today with a slice of my homemade focaccia bread, a slice of cheese and roasted vegetables to read. It's actually a mixture of a few different kinds of cheeses and few different kinds of vegetables. And to try this dish today, I've asked a member of my crew to give us her honest and totally unbiased opinion. Okay. There's two dish. Mm -mm -mm. I'm getting dinner before I ever so good. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Amazing. Thank you. Done a brilliant job, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> Thank you. Genuinely, it's amazing. Can I just... Uh, uh, y yeah? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to know how to make the focaccia bread or this mixed cheese and vegetable terrine, please subscribe and leave your comment below. Bye.